Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. What I'd like to do is show you how to graph the function f of x equals cosine of 2x plus 1. And when we're graphing our trigonometric functions, the main important things we want to do is identify what are, what are going to be our transformations, and then also identify our characteristics, um, such as our amplitude, period, x scale, phase shift, and vertical transformation. So the first thing we need to do is understand you know, what exactly is changed with this function from our parent graph. So we write in our kind of transformation function, which is a times cosine of bx minus c plus d, where a, b, c, and d are all going to be our different transformations. And what we can see is we have a coefficient of x, which would be our b, and we have a d, which would be a 1. So when calculating for our characteristics of our function, we'll be able to see how these are going to affect them. And the characteristics, again, that we're going to be looking for is the amplitude, the period, the x scale, the phase shift, and the vertical transformation. So to determine the amplitude, all we're simply going to do is take the absolute value of a. Well, you can see in this, in this case, for our formula, we don't have an a, right? There's, I mean, we do. It's a 1, right, being multiplied by our cosine. So therefore, it's absolute value of 1, which is just 1. Our period is going to be our coefficient of our, um, of our x divided by 2. So it's 2 pi, I'm sorry, period, 2 pi divided by b. So here, you can see that, well, my b is equal to 2. So therefore, it's 2 pi divided by 2, which is equal to pi. The x scale is just your period divided by 4. So in this case, that's going to be pi divided by 4. My phase shift is going to be taking what's set, set inside my parentheses, set equal to 0. So I just say 2x is equal to 0. Divide by 2, divide by 2, x equals 0. And my phase shift is going to equal to d which in this case is 1. Now, to kind of quickly go over all this information again, amplitude is going to be the half distance from my maximum to my minimum of my graph. The period is going to be how long it takes the graph to repeat its cycle. The x scale is going to be the diff distance between each and every important part of the cosine graph, which is our max, x-intercepts, minimum, um, and x-intercept. Phase shift is going to be if we're going to be shifting the graph left or right from the initial period along the horizontal axis. And vertical transformation would be will we shift it up or down um, based from the initial period. So when graphing this, I always like to start at my phase shift. Determine, you know, because um, when we look at the initial period, we start at 0 um, for the cosine graph. So if we're shifting it left or right, start at that new value. But you can see here there is no phase shift. I'm starting again back at 0. So. We're going to start at 0, and then I have an x scale of um, pi 4. So that means every single scale, the next, every single important part is going to be pi over 4 away from each other. So you can do two periods to the right, two periods to the left, a positive period and a negative period. That's what I'll do for this one. So I'll do, so that's pi to the force. 2 pi force is pi halves. 3 pi force. And this one would be pi. Go to the left, negative pi over 4 negative pi halves, negative 3 pi over 4, and negative pi. OK, so remember that the cosine graph, when we look at the initial period, the cosine graph starts at its, at its maximum, right? So we need to determine, well, what again is the maximum? Well, we look at the amplitude, because the amplitude is the, dis the half distance from the max to the min. All right, so therefore, since my amplitude is 1, that's the same as the parent graph. That's going to go up 1 and down to negative 1. Um, and now that's all the information I have. I start at my maximum for cosine. The next one is I go to my intercept, minimum, intercept, maximum. So therefore, my graph is going to look something like this. Okay, And then I can just follow that in the other direction as well. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you graph code f of x equals cosine of 2x plus 1. Thanks. Did you already got the first page on?